The debate between privacy and protection rages on as four police departments in Riverside and San Bernardino counties in California gear up to deploy drones in daily operations. Police in Southern California have been acquiring drones to help them better protect and serve following last year's attack. But lawmakers worry pu the public's privacy could be at stake under current law. Police are required under current law to obtain warrants before conducting drone surveillance. RT's Brigida Santos has more. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department will begin deploying a Phoenix M drone in search and rescue missions as part of a year-long experiment beginning next month. The department conducts over 170 such missions every year to recover injured or missing hikers along a stretch spanning from Orange County to Arizona. Because time is of the essence in search and rescue, officials say the drone will be very useful, as helicopters are not always available. The device was lent to the department by manufacturer Sentara to use free of charge during the testing phase. It has a still camera, heat sensor, and can take photos at distances of up to 400 feet away. Once the testing period is over, the department will then decide whether it wants to invest in drones permanently. The FAA has also approved drone use for police departments in San Bernardino County. Drones there will be used to take aerial photos of crime scenes, survey hostage situations, and find missing people. These departments say UAVs will help them protect the public more effectively. But civil rights advocates and lawmakers say mission creep is a major concern. They are now pressuring the FAA to implement laws that would require law enforcement to obtain warrants when conducting drone surveillance. Every day, the FBI and Department of Homeland Security fly drones over cities all across the United States. Now, government-grade drones are far more sophisticated than ones that people can buy in stores like this one here in the Los Angeles Valley. Now, unfortunately, the store has since closed down, so I can't actually show you any of these drones. But the government drones are much smaller and much more quiet. In fact, so much so that civilians have no idea that they're allowing the spies in the sky to watch their every move. Now, the government agencies do say that they're using these currently for things like looking for terrorists, aiding in search and rescue missions. However, there's nothing from stopping them from going down a very slippery slope and one day using these drones to look inside our windows and claim that they're looking for signs of drugs or even domestic abuse. Reporting from Studio City, Brigitte Santos, RT. For his take on law enforcement gearing up to use drones, we're joined now by Lionel, Emmy Award-winning media and legal analyst. Lionel, what do you see as the risks of this? Brigida outlined some of them right there. What, what, who, how are they to say uh, when to, they're going to use drones and justify it on, on any of us to surveil? Anya, let's do a thought experiment, shall we? Let's assume you're the president of the United States and I'm your head of justice or whatever. I, this I reminds me of something earlier this week. I thought I was your vice president. I don't. Too, too low key, too pedestrian. President, oh, Madam finally. President, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off by using our mainstream media apparatchiks that we control and own. And we're going to put out a story about a little girl named Courtney. Courtney is found by a drone. And I'm going to bring her into the White House, the Oval Office, and you're going to sign legislation, Madam President, called Courtney's Law. And we're going to acclimate and habituate the public to how helpful and positive drones are. And then, Madam President, we're going to equip them with microphones. We're going to arm them eventually. Oh, yes. Because what we will do is we will say, think of Courtney, think of the terrorist. And then, Madam President, as you know, people will get smart. So what they'll do is they'll be hip to our heat sensors and our thermal imaging, which we're going to do as well. And we're going to put into law anything that subverts our will. Think of it as getting around the tinted windows mm. or fuzz busters. And then what we're going to do is we're going to redirect, retool, and refabricate the Fourth Amendment, as you know, Madam President, the open fields exception well, to the search warrant. That's my question, Lionel. If I'm president and you're my legal uh, advisor, I have to ask you, is this constitutional? Absolutely. It's going to be constitutional because the Supreme Court that we own and run are going to say, of course this is. Not only that, Madam President, the people will beg for this. They will say we want more because keep in mind, the public have looked at these, look at these little devices, 
My kids play with those. This is just an extension. And wait till we arm them. Wait till we use the drone as an extension of the sniper. And don't forget the people who are going to be operating the drones. People in Quonset huts, maybe young people. People who never really have to be there. People who play with screens. People who don't have any idea of what they're doing, of the calamity and the danger and the, the horrors. You see, Madam President, what this is, is this takes 21st century warfare and law enforcement into a realm and understand something. The law will always lag behind technology. The courts will get around to dealing with whether this violates our privacy later on. But the public, who is always asleep, who is torpid and somnambulistic and doesn't care, is going to beg for this. Because the first time anybody dares bring up the stinking Fourth Amendment and the Bill of Rights, we're going to bring out this little dog and her puppy that were found, or the bad terrorist who was found because of this, or how law enforcement are going to sit around proudly with their drone. And they're going to say, after all, Madam President, we have planes in the sky, we have helicopters, what's wrong with having this cute little toy flying around, making us safe from the bad people? And people will, uh, 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 they will just love this. And there won't be any problems whatsoever. We'll round up the usual suspects, show some second-in-command ISIS guy that we get in the middle of nowhere. Nobody questions this. Nobody cares. They'll be too busy worrying about Tom Brady's footballs or Kelly and Michael coming on their show. They don't care because we have the attention span of a gnat, Madam President. Lionel, I have to say, you really do have a skill at painting dystopic futures. I just never thought I would be president uh, in, in, that, in that world. Legal and media analyst Lionel of Lionel Media, always a pleasure. Always, Madam President.